O oh God, be gracious to me, a sinner, and have mercy on me. Blessed is our God, now and always, and forever and ever. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For heavenly peace and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace in the whole world and stability of the holy churches of God and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed and glorious lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God, to you, Lord, for all glory, honor, and worship are you do, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Just to say a few words about the gospel today. We often hear that there are so many voices out there, there are so many messages out in the world, and that the church provides the only message that we ought to attend. And it is not accidental that only within two weeks we hear at the transfiguration of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ the voice of the Father coming from the cloud saying, that is my beloved Son, this is my beloved Son, listen to Him. And today, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ responded to the call of the person from the crowd who said, blessed is the womb that carried you, blessed are the breasts that you nursed. And he responded and said, more blessed are those who hear the words of my Father and keep them. Dear brothers and sisters, it is very important that we make the message of the gospel, the voice of the Father, the voice of the Son and the Holy Spirit, the voice in our hearts. The mind in which we operate in this world ought to be formed and shaped through the voice that comes through our heart from the Holy Spirit guiding us in the church throughout the centuries. Today, we saw also another hint of multiplicity and singularity. There is a gospel phrase that I pondered upon a long time when our Lord and Savior says to his disciples, you ought to be innocent like doves. Doves aren't necessarily innocent according to how we understand it. My father is a dove keeper. He has over 100 doves. And I grew up feeding them and attending them and observing them. But when I looked at the word innocent, it doesn't necessarily mean what we understand today as innocence, but it means single-minded. It means focused. It means dedicated, loyal. And in the life of the doves, you know that doves mate for life. They are dedicated to one another. They love one another. They raise their babies together. And there is that unique dedication form of love that they display. But most important thing is the singleness of mind, that our mind is not spread out throughout the world. Another example is the, the gospel of the gatherings. When the Lord goes to the gatherings country, the demoniac says that we are multiple. The voices that this demon-possessed person was hearing in his head was confusing, had separated him from the society and was trying to separate him from God. But our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ chased them away and spoke to him the single voice, the single message that comes from God. And the demoniac in Luke's gospel said to the Lord, may I become your disciple. The Lord, however, said, bring that message to your family and to your friends. That is what it means to be disciples of Christ. And I will finish with the message 
given to Martha today, when Martha was very busy, busyness is good, we should keep ourselves busy, our hands and our minds should not idle. Nevertheless, our Lord did not say that you are busy, but what he said is, you worry and you stress out about many things. One thing is important, and your sister Mary has picked that one thing. Sitting at my feet and listening to my words, listening to the words of the Father, and I hope keeping them. Dear brothers and sisters, today's message is there is one voice in our heart, the word of our Father who is in heaven, the word that became incarnate through the Theotokos, and we are blessed like the Theotokos if we hear those words and keep them now and forever. Amen. I will ask His Eminence, please, to come and bless us. Father, you, you bless us today with the beautiful divine liturgy that you celebrated. I love coming to this parish, and I come as often as I can, because I believe that a miracle happened here. And I've spoken about that miracle in almost every community that I've gone to. And that miracle is that a handful of beautiful people were united in their faith. They were visionary and they redid this temple of God for, the, for his glory. Father, I thank you for that. And I thank your parish council and your philoptokos. And I'm very grateful to every single person that took part in the renovation of this church. And I thank you for the spiritual leadership you offer this community. Every time I meet somebody from Somerville, they thank me for assigning you. In Axios. Then Nakua. Akomi then Nakua.